Is anyone shocked that I'm doing this again? I'm not. As you can see by the horrific thumbnail, I'm going to be once again reading, exposing, and ranking your confessions for the for the fifth fucking time. Holy, Holy shit. shit. So I had you guys send me confessions on my Instagram story. Make sure to go follow my Instagram and Twitter if you wanna be included in future videos or send me numbers for future prank call videos. That'd be greatly appreciated, thank you. You guys sent in are you fucking kidding? I finally got an area rug for my room. Look at how pretty she is. You guys have seen these videos before, you know the drill, but if you guys haven't seen these videos, I'm gonna explain to you how I'm gonna rank these confessions. Easiest one is just another Tuesday. I get it, but I wish I didn't. Thin ice, blank twice. Um, the next one is Peta. The horse is here. Peter, the horse is here means like, this is some weird ass shit. Then after that is the worst one. It's I'm calling the police. You know what that means? It's it's not good. So if your confession gets that, maybe reevaluate why. Before we get into the video though, we have a quick word from our sponsor. Are you looking for an easy to use editing app to edit your videos and vlogs? Well, the popular choice is Filmora. That is today's sponsor. Thank you, Filmora. I really appreciate it. Wondershare Filmora is perfect for both beginners and experienced editors. It includes preset templates for filters, effects, transitions, and it has a ton of royalty-free music, which I need to use more of so I don't get myself demonetized. But it's perfect for you to avoid those copyright claims that I sometimes get. Filmora is generous that way. And it's super quick and easy to use it. It literally takes like 10 minutes to finish editing a video. Personally, my favorite functions of Filmora are the music visualizer and also speed ramping. In the past, I've had to use really difficult software to get speed ramping and with Filmora it makes it super easy so you don't have to give yourself a headache for it I also love the auto reframe you don't have to go through the pain of doing it yourself and of course keyframing it's free to try so why not? And before I forget, Wondershare Filmora is having their biggest discount of the year as we speak. You can get up to 43% off, so don't miss out. I'm mentally preparing myself for this because every time I read confessions, I leave my laptop a different person. I'm prepared to have some night terrors after this one. I really am. The only movie where I was ever attracted to Johnny Depp was in Willy Wonka. Ew. Like out of all the movies, that's the one where you're like, Ooh. I taught my baby cousin who's five on how to say the word and it became a whole inside joke with my friends and I. And on my birthday party, they all came over and when she said it, they were all dying of laughter. You're going to hell for that one. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna give it thin ice because it's funny, but you're also going to hell for that. I clean my ears out with bobby pins. I don't know, it feels good. I have dated about five boys in one mouth. What? I'm hoping you meant month. I get it, but I wish I didn't. I ate a needle one time. Did it ever come out? Last summer, I got into a summer camp. I was 15 and our camp counselor was super young, not like an old fucker. And he ended up creeping into the girl's cabin at night and collect our underwear, he called it. They ended up looking in his bag and found, I'm not kidding, 30 different pairs of panties. What? I hope he went to jail. I'm gonna give it, I'm calling the police. And for you, I'm gonna give you a new special one. It's called the Confessions Protection Program. Should I add that to the roster? Cause like, I don't even have to explain it. You just know what it means. I put nail glue in my best friend hair and she had to shave her hair off and never found out it was me. I get it, but I wish I didn't because story time. One time when I was younger, I was like with my childhood friend at the time and I accidentally put slime in her hair and all of our parents had to gather around her and put peanut butter in her hair to get it out. So we're twinsies. When I was younger, my mom made me really upset because I ate all the Krispy Kreme donuts and she was angry at me. So when she was watching TV in the living room, I went in the fridge for a stick of butter and rubbed it all under the kitchen table table. We moved home 10 years later and we had to put the table upside down and the butter was still there. My family could not figure out what was on the table so we threw it out. I don't feel bad about it. Yeah, don't. I don't know your mom but I feel like she kind of deserved it. Never let anyone make you feel bad about eating your Krispy Kremes. Me and a coworker were on our break one time and we both had like 15 minutes left so we said fuck it and we did it in the walk-in fridge. I lost my virginity there too. Oh my god. One time I so hard and long that my started literally bleeding. Well, I mean, I can't just not finish. And I kept going. There was blood all over the bathroom floor and I spent like 30 minutes cleaning it up. Anyways, my 
is fine now three years later. My God. When I was like three or four, I would take my mom's chapstick, it wasn't the flavored kind, and hide behind a chair and eat the whole thing. It tasted like earwax, but I did it every day and she caught me a few times. The whole... Jordan, why do you do this to yourself? It's because a part of me deep down wonders if things could get worse and somehow every time they do. So when I was in the first grade, I thought I always had to wipe after going to the bathroom no matter what. One time I went to the bathroom at school and there was no toilet paper in the stall. I picked up the wet slimy toilet paper off of the ground and wiped with it. Not proud of it. I put a condom with water and cornstarch to fake you know, and put it on my math teacher's coffee. The first time I math it was when I watched Ratatouille for the first time. Pita. I have been f***ing my friend's girlfriend. I'm also a girl and my friend's a guy for about three weeks and she doesn't know. I don't feel bad though because she's been saying shit behind my back and being a two-faced bitch. Love your content though. Yeah, just another Tuesday. She probably deserved it. I used to make my little sibling eat dog food. I would pretend to eat it with them, but I would hide it. We were like four and two. I don't feel bad. When I was little, I would ask my teacher to watch me do a cool trick. The cool trick was me getting on all four is one foot front, one foot back, then barking. AKA I pretended to be Bolt and did the Bolt stance and barked. <sighs> In second grade after lunch, I was taking a test and I had to do the biggest sneeze ever. And I absolutely did, which caused me to shit my pants. Liquid shit. I stood up and my seat was wet. So I asked my teacher if I could go to the nurse and I did. Keep in mind, I was wearing a zebra striped shirt and I walked to the nurse and didn't want to sit down. So I stood up and I got shit on the walls by leaning on it. When I walked back to class after changing, a kid walked up to me and said, I know what you did. Like if you don't shut the fuck up. Anyways, it's a good story to tell at parties. Um, maybe don't tell this at any party. Growing up, I was a weird kid, like really weird. We had this sandbox in our backyard. It was the kind that looked like a turtle and that turtle holds a lot of sand. Every time I went out to play outside, I would eat a handful of sand. I did this for years. My mom thought the sand was just blowing away. She would refill that sandbox all the time. I ate pounds and pounds of sand. <laughs> I put Legos in my friends' mouths at sleepovers. Why? Once in pre-K, we were in nap time and I didn't want to sleep. So while my teacher was talking to a parent or something, I crawled over to one of those chairs with a hole in the back and I shoved my head through it. We had to get the police and fire department to get my head unstuck. Honestly, for me, that's just another Tuesday because when I was in kindergarten, you know those play sets where like the floor of it has like a bunch of tiny holes? I shoved my finger in one of those holes once and it got so stuck to the point where they also had to call the fire department to literally cut me out of it. So great minds think alike. A bully kept stealing my lunch. So I shoved an apricot up my ass once, then wiped it off and gave it to my bully so she would eat it. I mean, work smarter, not harder. I used to steal my mom's cigarettes and eat them. What did you gain from that? One time I got turned on in public because I walked past. I want you to pause the video right now and go comment your guess as to what this person got turned on by because you will never fucking guess it. I got turned on in public because I walked past a Crocs store. What? Last December, I had something personal happen, but I still had to go to school. I was sitting in French class, bawling my eyes out when the teacher started playing Christmas in France videos. The teacher was all happy and excited and kept staring at me thinking that I was crying over how beautiful France was. You like crying about like probably some trauma that happened and your teacher's like, <laughs> Old people freak me out. Not like scary, but I'm not gonna go near them. I've crashed my car three times and my parents have yet to find out. I understand like crashing it like one time, like a little oopsie, but like three times? When I was about six, I decided to chop off my cat's whiskers, like short, short. That's fucked up. You understand that like that is one of the cat's literal senses. So by doing that, you're literally like blinding them in a way. For your cat, I'm gonna call the police on you. I my boss at his wedding.
that's not right. I need more context. If you were to say like, oh, no, it's not right. Okay, so me and my dad work at the same place under the same boss, right? So about a week ago, our manager was thinking about who to give the promotion to, and it was between me and my dad. So I honestly really needed the money for this holiday trip I was going to take with my friends to Paris. So I slept with our boss. Paris, here I come. Like, I bet your dad would have put that money to like probably a better use than a Paris trip that's only gonna last you four days top. I get it, but I wish I didn't. But your poor father. One time I pissed in my mom's plants because I was mad at her. Wow, you really showed her. You probably did water them. I have intrusive thoughts about using my bassoon as a bong. I mean, no one's stopping you. I lost my V card in a Starbucks bathroom. I played an Olivia Rodrigo song for my grandmother and told her it was me singing. She really enjoyed the song and said my voice was excellent. She still to this day thinks all of her songs are me singing. She even started telling her friends and some of the rest of our family that I have my own album and record label and the word is getting around, what do I do help? You are caught in a web of lies. You did it to yourself. I'm sorry. I mean, that's funny as hell. My mom and dad have a sexual intercourse calendar on our fridge. Huh? And it's on your fridge for everyone to see? What the fuck? I used to suck on those brushes that you use to clean a toilet. Ew. I'm inbred. I hope. I hope this one's not real. I have not changed my bra in a month. Is it like permanently stuck to you now? Ew, you're gonna have to like peel that shit off. Every time I go to my friend's house, I eat a little bit of his hamster's food. Okay. I dip celery in ketchup. What the fuck? I tried to poison my grandpa's new girlfriend. I feel like it's weird to call them like, oh, my grandpa's new girlfriend. Well, she's not new. I have a secret obsession with dog role play. Like while someone is going, oh my God. Like while someone is going in, they are panting with their tongue out while going cross-eyed like a panting puppy. I will gouge my eyes out with fucking forks. Whenever I go to a restaurant, I steal a menu and hang it on my wall. You sociopath. That's actually not a bad idea though. I once accidentally put a bar of soap in my ass and wasn't able to take it out. I had to wait till it melted and I didn't tell anyone about this. I used to eat dirt, more specifically mud, but not too runny. I thought it was nature's Nutella. And since I have an allergy, I can't eat Nutella. I thought that that was basically the same thing. I only stopped doing this last year when I got a really bad stomach reaction to some bad dirt but it it might have had traces of nuts in it. No, it might have been the dirt that you were eating. John Jay is the hottest founding father. <laughs> Are you okay? In gym class, the guys did this thing called a waffle stomp, where they would shit and then stomp it into the shower drain. They had a whole Instagram page too. What the fuck? Think I might have to call the police for that one. It, this has so many layers. The fact that first of all, they even did that. Second of all, the fact that they had a name for it and the name is waffle, waffle stomp. I think the cherry on top is the Instagram for it. I don't know where to go from here. I get turned on when people get sick. Like if I notice someone has a cold, I will spend as much time as possible around them to hear them sneeze and blow their nose. I also love catching colds. Should I seek help? Yes, you should. When I was younger, I hated showers. So this one time when my mom told me to take a shower, I decided to grab a bucket of water and a bar of soap and went into my room and I took a shower on the carpet. Like you were like full on like having an Amish moment where you're just like, I once put my sister in the dryer, closed it, and started chanting, I'm gonna start the dryer, over and over again. I was like five or six, so thankfully I couldn't reach the button. You sick bitch. Oh, she's like, stop talking, f it. I've had sex with your videos playing in the background. <laughs> Oh my God, I might frame that one. I never thought that that's where my content would be perceived in such a way. So as like it's happening, you just hear me like, make sure you go follow my Instagram and Twitter if you wanna be included in future. Sometimes when I'm completely alone, I will recite movie lines to myself. That makes two of us. It's not turquoise, it's, it's not lapis, it's actually cerulean. One time I shit on a puppy pad and blamed it on the dog. I humped the corner of tables. One time I sucked my own d 
I don't know how much more of this I can handle. So when I was six or seven, I had this nanny and she cleaned really bad, like really, really bad. And my parents would come home after work and talk mad shit about her every day. And since I love gossip, I would of course stay and hear everything. My parents would tell me not to tell her anything, but little me had other plans. I would make a mental note about what they said. So when she came the next day, I would take her to this place in the garden and snitch on my parents and tell her everything they said about her. I bet the cleaning wasn't even that bad. I bet your parents are just assholes. I threw out my mom's engagement ring because I didn't like the guy she was engaged to. She doesn't know it was me. Ooh. See, I would say if it was anything else, I would support. But like engagement rings are not cheap. I had sex a few days ago and my whole swear to God tore. I have a cannibalism kink. Nope. Mm -mm. Come here. I think you're ugly. They agree. I had my first watching The Simpsons unintentionally. I have a low quality cardboard cutout of you. It's the bust up and your mouth is wide open. What? 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 Bitch, you better be joking. I feel awful, but I'm planning on leaving my wife. Well, don't tell me that. Let's move along and go tell your wife. One time I had a crush on my cousin. All right, well, guess what you're not gonna do? Act on those feelings. You are going to act like that thought never even came into your brain, okay? Or else it's getting close. When I was five, I used to hide in the closet and eat dog food. I have also eaten at least four full-size cardboard boxes in the past year. Are you proud of that? Because you shouldn't be. I keep random people's hair after cutting it. I'm a hairdresser. Nope. I have a phobia to Brit. I have a phobia to- Oh my god. I have a phobia to fridges and I can't leave- I have a phobia to fridges and I can't eat leftovers. I kept reading that I have Phoebe Bridgers and I can't eat leftovers. That's all I saw.